What's up YouTube? My name is Kenny J, the insurance guru, and this is Kenny J TV. In this video, I will be talking about the pros and cons of working at State Farm. I worked at State Farm for about four months before opening up my own agency. And I will say, put a disclaimer in here that anything that I say regarding my previous job is based on my experience with State Farm, my personal experience. So I will start with the pros of working at State Farm. The first pro with working there was they had amazing training. So going into State Farm, I had no experience with insurance didn't know a HO3 from a HO4. It was all completely new to me. So coming to State Farm, it was very helpful because I was able to learn all the ins and outs of insurance. My previous agency owner was in the game for 20 years when I started. Then I had a great office manager as well that was able to teach me a lot specifically with life insurance. A lot of times I hear when people reach out to me for these coaching calls that they're with State Farm, but they may not focus on life insurance. But a lot of my personal life insurance training came directly from State Farm. We would get on seminars and different trainings that State Farm would hold across the country and we would really learn and take a lot of value from those trainings. Personally, to me, the trainings were not boring. They were more so informative and helped me with my day-to-day -day sales. And to piggyback off the first point, they had really good mentorship as well. Shout out to my previous manager. She did an amazing job just mentoring me and, and teaching me the ropes of insurance. Personally, me, when when I first got into insurance, I was 22 years old. I get the question a lot, if I could do it all over again, would I still go with the captive agency and more specifically, would I still go with State Farm? And my answer is always absolutely yes because of the mentorship and the training that I got. I don't believe that I wouldn't have been as successful if I would have went straight into owning my own agency. So now I'm trying to learn how to run a business as well as learn the products and learn how insurance works. State Farm really built a really good foundation for me and and creating the successful insurance broker that I am today. My favorite pro of State Farm were the systems and processes that they had in place for following up with the client, dealing with renewals, dealing with non-pays. They were really good systems and processes and a lot of those systems and processes I learned from and I was able to implement those with my own agency. And I will say that since I've implemented a lot of those systems and processes, I've saved people from lapsing, I've saved people from canceling, and when renewals come up, I'm all always on top of it because of what I learned there. I will say that the people that I worked under, they were really organized and kept everything together. And I knew that in order to be successful like these people or this agency was, I had to remain organized no matter what. So that was always my biggest thing. Going into this agency ownership was you have to be organized. You have to cross every T and dot every I because it is a lot of information, especially when you get busier. Now I'm very grateful that I was able to be organized really early on. So now I'm not going back, rummaging through things, trying to find files and client documents. Everything is in the touch of my finger. And of course, different organizational tools that I use to make sure that everything was where it needed to be. Now to get into the cons of State Farm. The first con that I'll name is the appetite for commercial insurance. And when you hear the word appetite in insurance, it means who are they able to write or who are they able to insure? We would get a lot of leads from different companies, different businesses that wanted commercial insurance. And nine times out of 10, we knew that we would not be able to insure them due to them being a high risk. They may be a roofer or they may be some type of painter that paints really tall buildings and State Farm wouldn't be able to insure them. And that also played a part with my knowledge of commercial insurance. I will say that everything that I know about commercial insurance came from me working on the independent side. I would say about 75 to 80% of my business now is commercial insurance on the PNC side. And that all came from learning on the independent side, the importance of commercial insurance, how it works, and how am I able to sell this product, and how am I able to educate my clients on the importance 
of this product. I always would ask, you know, the leadership team, can I get more training on commercial insurance? But it honestly seemed like some of them didn't really know a lot about commercial insurance, but it wasn't entirely their fault. It's more so we're not insuring these people. We're focusing on home and auto, but I knew with my agency, I wanted to be very diverse. I wanted to be able to insure the businesses. I wanted to be able to insure you with life insurance, with auto, any type of insurance you could need. And also to piggyback off of the commercial insurance, they didn't do health insurance. All they did were health products like disability income policies and things like that. So when open enrollment came around and people were reaching out to me personally for health insurance, I was not able to insure them. And that was one thing that I made sure when I had my own agency, I was able to do health insurance as well because at State Farm, I personally turned away a lot of people, unfortunately, or refer them out just because we didn't have the appetite or the resources to insure for health insurance. Another con about State Farm is that they would insure people with better insurance history. So let's say that I had a few claims on my home due to my roof being damaged. More than likely, State Farm would not insure you because they're saying you're too much of a risk and we're going to go ahead and refer you out. And that is personally why I do get a lot of referrals from State Farm because they're not able to insure due to too many roofing claims or if you have a DUI or if you have too many accidents, they may only be able to offer you liability only but thankfully with the different carriers i have i've never had to turn anyone away for homeowners insurance or auto insurance because different carriers specialize in different things which is amazing because i never have to turn people away but just put them with certain carriers that's able to insure that type of risk last but definitely not least the the last con that i will name is the commission was very, very low. I have talked to State Farm agency owners, I have talked to State Farm team members all over the country and they all say the same thing that the commission is low. They'll let me know what the commission is and going from State Farm to the independent side, it was really a complete shock about how much commission I was getting, especially on life insurance. The commission was, I mean, very small and now I'm making literally 10, 20 times more than what I was making for selling the same exact product. Also with PNC as well, I'm seeing myself making a lot more on the independent side than when I was with State Farm. Personally for me, it didn't bother me because I knew I was there for a short amount of time and I just wanted to learn the ropes and, and learn what insurance was all about. Personally, I still made really good money at State Farm, but I knew there was opportunity for me to one, be able to make more money and two, to own my book of business. I definitely wanted to own my book of business because I was a State Farm team member, not an agency owner. So I would write the business for the agency, but I knew once I left, I owned none of that business. And those are the pros and cons of State Farm. I will say overall, I had a great experience learning from State Farm, learning how they work, the systems and processes, and the overall experience was amazing. I wouldn't go back and change anything about it. It truly made me the insurance broker I am today. I am very grateful to be on the independent side. I would any day choose independent over captive just because of the money. I'm able to have more versatility in who I'm able to insure and I don't have to turn people away as well. If you're working with State Farm, let me know what position you're in and how are you enjoying State Farm? Do you enjoy captive? If you're an agency owner, how long have you owned a State Farm? I think very highly of State Farm. It's a great company. It just wasn't the best fit for me personally. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell for my latest notification. We are dropping a video every week. Also, follow my Instagram. It is the same as my YouTube, KennyJTV, and I post reels throughout the week regarding insurance. It's sometimes funny, sometimes educational, but it's really good content, and it can also inspire you to make content on your Instagram page as well. I will make a video on how I've reached over 30,000 people on Instagram in a single month, and how that has converted to leads and new business for me. And also, I do have an ebook out, How to Start Your Insurance Agency, Understanding the Process. When I was starting in insurance, there were no type of books out, or there were no videos to really take me step by step on what I need to do so I broke it down in the simplest form possible and that is available on Amazon and the link is in the description box below again 
My name is Kenny J, the insurance guru, and this is Kenny J TV.